All right, I know I've recorded three videos already, and uh, all of them are on my backup channel, uh, which is uh, which is cool with me. I'm fine with that. That's good. Uh, no problem uh, with that. But if you want to check out my main channel, it's Andy Nowicki, um, and I'll provide a link to it below. Those of you who who have um, found these videos uh, who, who are not my, amongst my normal viewership, but who found these videos because I've been commenting on this this event, this occurrence, uh, what do we call it, this tragedy. I mean, it's undeniably a tragedy. Whatever it is that happened, it's tragic. But what what exactly happened, and how did it happen, and why did it happen to Anne Heche, That's that's the real question. And um, so, so this is the the last video that I intend to record on this subject for now, unless something new comes up um, on this front. You know, this is just yet another one of those stories, like Isaac Cappy uh, a few years ago, where nothing about the official story made sense. Like so many stories, um, so many, so many things that are that are put out there. That, that they're that we're just expected to believe that are just gobbledygook that that the pieces don't fit um but i mean i don't even think that they care i don't i don't think that they uh think about the fact that they that uh it doesn't make sense and i don't think that they care that it doesn't make sense because they figure people will just ignore it and move on or make excuses for it or do what i've seen people do which is uh, try to resolve these these unresolvable discrepancies with with uh, uh, these these far out kind of explanations and uh, desperate assertions. You know, it's it's it is interesting. It's an interesting phenomenon how the uh, the assemblers of the official story don't really feel the need to do to do very much. To uh, to justify their uh, um, you know, the, their discre the discrepancies in their stories, they let other people do that for them, and they just sit back and and don't do anything, don't say anything. Just they just uh, shrug and and let it all happen. And you know, uh, you know they're in control of all the cultural institutions, but they don't have truth on their side. That's the one thing. That's the one powerful weapon that uh, that that we have that they do not have. Um, so you know they, they they don't even try to attempt to to, to justify uh, the magic bullet theory. Let's say take a very famous uh, example. Um, they just it's it's a just so story, right? Uh, it happened this way because it only could have happened this way. Because this is the official story, and therefore we make it fit the template. Because just so, um, and you can apply that to so many other events, uh, uh, which uh, are extremely dubious uh, as far as their official stories go. So, getting back to Anne Heche one more time, I wanted to talk. Just I wanted to just emphasize uh, the fact of. Her purchasing this red wig uh, from the uh, the hair salon store um, because I, I didn't really spend much time on it last last time and I'm not I'm not going to talk I'm not big on getting into like uh, the occult significance of this that or the other thing not because I don't believe it in it but just because I know that I'm not in, uh, any kind of expert uh, in those kinds of those kinds of things, um, and so I'm on a bit of shaky ground. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to comment on on it, you know, in, in that sort of way. But let's just say, you know, in the most innocent sense, she purchased this wig that she was intending to wear. Um, you know, again, that just deepens or broadens the mystery of how she went from the behavior that she exhibited uh, in that hair salon and this is what I talk about in my my prior video the the uh, the mystery deepen and Hache the mystery deepens 
I think that's what I titled it. Um, but what I talk about there is how this hair salon owner talks about how Anne Heche came into his establishment and she was really, you know, nice and chill and laid back. And he asked if, if they could take a selfie together and she said, sure. Um, and she bought a red wig for, uh, from him for, uh, you know, $130 or something like that. Seems pretty pricey, but I don't know the... I don't know the price of wigs, obviously. Um, so, uh, so, so, and you see their their uh, their selfie, which was you know the last picture of of uh, of Anne Hache ever taken, other than her jumping out of the out of the uh, the scrim that they put over her on that gurney um, before they shove her into the ambulance. This is the last actual normal picture normal looking picture of her um and you know they're just smiling it's like you know a celebrity granting an interview to to uh, a clerk a store owner um and so how does she go from that to again getting in her car uh just flooring it just going at extremely high speeds through these uh you know residential areas where she's putting so many lives at risk, uh, you know, not just her own, uh, crashes once the, into into some building. The police tell her to get out, but the car just just takes off again, uh, and then eventually crashes into the house and all that. Well, I, I talked about all that before. Like, how how does how does that mindset just switch up like that? You know. Um, and, and there's lots, you know, lots of things come to mind, right? Lots of MK ultra kind of, uh, you know, suicide programming. I don't know. That's all speculation. Uh, I know that, that they, you know, in those programs perfected a way that they could get, get their, their, uh, agents or who, or whoever they had, you know, whatever they called them, their, their subjects, um, uh, um, to turn on a dime, to become, you know, to just go into this, this fugue state or, or to, to just get this, this horse blinded kind of, uh, vision. Now I got to do this. I'm not thinking I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm just taking out my gun and I'm shooting the person that they're tell that they told me to shoot at the place they told me to shoot him. And here maybe, you know, uh, she heard the, uh, the word just, just speculating. She heard a word, and it was like, "Okay, now I must drive my car into a uh, into a house." You know, again, I don't, I don't know, maybe, but that's as good a that's a better explanation than than uh, that than saying that there was any kind of emotional continuity. Let's let's just say uh, from how she behaved in the store to how she behave when she was when she got behind the wheel of her car it just doesn't you know just minutes later minutes after she snapped that selfie it doesn't make any sense at all which is what i was what i was harping on last time but the wig okay um if she was trying if she bought that wig with the intention of wearing it then that would seem to strongly suggest that she didn't intend to try to kill herself uh, immediately after it, after purchasing the wig, right? Um, <coughs> so, so that's just another thing. Like, why, why buy anything if you're if you're about to uh, uh, try to kill yourself by crashing headlong, uh, uh, you know, in, into a house at a high rate of speed uh, in a residential district of, of uh, suburban Los Angeles? Why purchase this wig? Uh, you know. Uh, evidently for, 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 for future use. Um, just, just add that to the pile of things that, uh, that don't make sense. Okay. Except those of you out there who are just going to be like, well, of course it does because maybe it was this, maybe it was that. And again, it's not the, not even the official spokesmen who are coming up with these, these kinds of expl fumbling for these explanations it's like people have got to make the official story work somehow um 
what you need you know ask yourself why why do you have to buy into what they tell you on the television or uh, you know what the what the corporate media reports as as if it were truth why not uh, just uh, ask yourself could there be another explanation to these things I don't know I guess it I guess for a lot of people it just sort of pulls the, the rug out from under them and, and uh, you know, they would rather just think that the world makes sense uh, and the media is not lying to us and Hollywood's not this evil uh, uh, demonic force uh, uh, that, uh, that devours uh, and destroys people. Um, but anyway, putting that aside... So there's the wig. There, there's the question of the wig, the mystery of the wig, the purchase purchasing of the wig. Why buy a wig if if you're just going to kill yourself immediately afterwards? You know what was why? Uh, obviously, to me, her purchasing the wig meant that in her mind, as she went into the store, she intended to wear that wig on some occasion in the near future, meaning she was not uh, on a suicide suicidal path when she went into that store and and was very mild-mannered and nice uh and uh, and considerate uh with the uh, with the store clerk okay just one more thing and this is something this this is me bear, kind of burying the lead to uh, to a lot uh, in a lot of ways maybe because um something you've probably you if you've looked into this stuff at all you probably know that Anne Heche uh, had just completed a movie about what? About uh, the trafficking of minors. She had just completed a movie called The Girl in Room 13 uh, that's going to be aired on, Lifetime, on the Lifetime channel. And uh, in it she plays the mother of uh, a teenage daughter who has... Uh, who has just been through rehab, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, and and then gets kidnapped and uh, and trafficked, um, and you, I mean, uh, human tra trafficking, child trafficking, trafficking of minors. These are risky, touchy subjects. Uh, and you, you know, you talk about these things, you draw attention to these things, uh, and often you find yourself dead. And there's ample precedent for that. A couple of rock stars, you know, committed suicide when they were about to expose uh, uh, child trafficking in a documentary. A Georgia state senator who spoke spoke out. Uh, against the uh, the child protective services and said that they were they were guilty of of uh, selling children to uh, or setting children up with pedophiles um, and then she dies in a murder suicide uh, involving her husband uh, it, it, you know just this this nice middle aged lady uh, southern lady with no background her husband. No, no prior violent uh, background. Suddenly, there, there's a murder suicide, right? So those are just a few examples. Um, and she's just made this movie um, about child trafficking, um, and apparently, it's still still going to be aired in September. So I bet the that that uh, it, the ratings that it gets are much higher than the normal. Uh, lifetime uh, uh, um, network ratings uh, typically are for that that will be higher for that show I predict uh, and you can watch the preview it frankly looks pretty corny and melodramatic um, uh, but anyway that's that's the, the fact that they that this movie was made at all uh, and that she was part, she was a part of it and that she was uh, I don't know if she had some part in producing it, maybe she did, but that it's drawing attention to uh, child sex trafficking, uh, which we know happens in Hollywood. 
uh, well, uh, maybe that sealed her fate. And one other thing I want to I want to say, uh, and I want to just draw attention to this for whatever it's worth. I said that I don't really go into occult stuff very much, and I don't. And one of the things that I'm really loath loath to talk about is numerology, because it seems to me I get a little impatient with numerology. It seems to me that numbers can mean anything. You can make them mean anything. Um, so I don't often comment on on, on num things involving numbers, but I I do I couldn't help but note and and you know just take this for whatever it's worth. Um, I couldn't help but note that that uh, Anne Heche was in some uh, some minor film. I don't know if it was like a, a direct to uh, streaming film because I'd never heard of it uh, before just recently. Uh, and this was about a year ago, and that, that, that film was called 13 Minutes. 13 Minutes, and it, it was about uh, some, uh, like a tornado or a hurricane or some, some severe weather. It was, it was, it was uh, you know, about crisis brought on by, you know, a, 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 a terrible uh, uh, act of nature. Uh, and it was called 13 Minutes, and now you have this final movie that she ever made, What's the title of the final movie ever made? The Girl in Room 13. Um, you know, numerologists uh, take that and, and uh, go somewhere with it. You know, I, I, I invite you to. I know 13 is, is uh, you know, the is a number that uh, has a lot of resonance to it, let's just say. It's 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 the unlucky number. It's the number that you don't, you know, when when there's a high rise building, they, they always skip from level twelve to level fourteen. There's no level thirteen, um, and there's there's a lot of there's there's some kind of history or backstory for how thirteen got to be seen in this way, but I can't remember what it is. But I just think that's that's. Uh, interesting and odd uh you know why why <laughs> the girl in room 13 why 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 have it be that number uh and then you know you you were just in this movie that also had the number 13 in the title and then uh have that coincide with what might have been this uh uh sacrificial ritual perhaps i don't know I'm not saying that's what it was for sure. I am saying that the official story doesn't add up. The pieces don't don't fit together. And that's that's all. That's as far as I'm going with it. Okay, so don't call me a conspiracy theorist. I am only pointing out uh, things that don't add up. I'm not theorizing anything. Uh, well, maybe I, I'm 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 hypo. Uh, I'm hypothesizing certain things. I'm throwing some things out there. I'm a cons conspiracy hypothesist, uh, perhaps. Anyway, um, those are just some some final thoughts for now on uh, on Anne Heche. Um, and uh, you know, if she's gone, God rest her soul, uh, and God bless us all. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all soon.